What's up everybody? Welcome back to the FNG Academy. Buck here from Green Beret, here to help you guys get selected. Alright guys, in this video we are going to talk about a war story. I put up a poll asking you guys what you wanted to see on Friday's video and you guys mostly voted for the war story. This war story is going to end in me covered in cow manure, dry cow manure, and shooting an AT4 off in way too small of a room. And my buddy may or may not shooting someone in the face, but we'll get there. But before we do, do me a favor, hit that donate button for the Warrior Dog Foundation. Let's hit that goal of $5,000 this month and give back to those dogs who gave so much to us. Also, this video is sponsored by 18 Alpha Fitness. You guys ask me all the time, Buck, what should I be doing for my workouts? What should I be doing for recovery? What do you recommend? What do you recommend? Kevin has dedicated himself to figuring out how to improve people's chances, injury prevention, and from what I've been talking to him, he's doing a lot of mentorship style stuff as well. So Kevin is the man for you guys trying to get physically fit to get into selection. So go check out Kevin over at 18 Alpha Fitness. You will not be disappointed. All right, guys, let's get into this war story. So no shit, there I was. I'm just kidding. But seriously, no shit, there I was. I'm sitting in the Mat V. We're in Afghanistan. We're in a valley. We've been troops in contact and gunfights throughout the day. Um, and I'm sitting in the truck trying to figure out where these people are shooting at us from over in a tree line. Just then the radio blares up that my buddy Jerry Bear uh, needs an AT4 at his location. I jump in the back of the Mat V, I grab a couple AT4s and I start running. Um, by myself trying to figure out where the hell uh, Jerry Bear's at. Got to a friend, shot an AT4 off, skipped it off the ground, terrible shot, my bad. And then finally Jerry calls, he needs it now. So start running around looking for Jerry Bear. Um, he's up on a roof. He's like buck over here Find him. We go in this small room and I mean when I say small It's like a tiny little room in an Afghan hut So if you don't know Afghan huts, they're basically compacted cow manure um, But they're tough as shit like we've shot them with 50 cows and couldn't break through these walls They're super strong, but it's still cow shit. So you really don't want it all agitated around you so we get to this room, it's probably like a, I don't know, six by six um, room. And there's a window in front of Jerry and he's been looking out and he keeps ducking back in front of this window. So I was like, Jerry, what's up, dude? And he goes, Buck in here. Uh, he leads me into the house and he's like, hey man, there's a dude behind that rock. It's about 300 meters um, out. And he keeps popping his head up, shooting at us and then popping back down. He's like, I want you to just smash him with the AT4 so we could just stop him from popping his head up. And I was like, all right, you got it. And I'm looking around at this tiny little room and I'm trying to remember back to what my 18 Bravo cadre were telling me about shooting off an AT4 in a confined space. And I was like, I don't remember what they said, but it's probably not good. But I just missed a shot with the first AT4 and I was not about to do it again. So whether this wall collapsed on me or back pressure just kicked me in the guts, I don't care. I am going to make sure to hit my shot this time. So Jerry tells me that he's going to pop a round off um, at the rock so I know exactly where the dude's popping his head up at and then we could start figuring out where to shoot that AT4 to get this guy to move from cover so we could actually put him down. So Jerry pops that round off, I'm watching the rock and then all of a sudden I hear, oh, Jerry's like, I think I got him. I was like, what? And he's like, dude, no joke. As soon as I pulled the trigger to show you where that spot was at, his head popped up. He's like, I'm not sure 100%. He's like, but I think I got him. And he's like, I was like, well, do you want me to shoot the AT4 or not? And he's, yeah, send it anyway, just in case I missed him. So I was like, all right. So I'm standing in that room. I'm super nervous because I have no idea what this back pressure is about to do to me inside this tiny ass little room shooting off this AT4. But again, I don't want to miss my shot. So I line it up. I suck it up, blast it. As soon as that thing went off, the whole room was covered in brown. Uh, the back pressure just like dusted the walls. So I'm just breathing cow shit and dried cow manure, and I can't see four inches in front of my face. When I'm telling you this room was completely solid brown of just dried shit. I don't know where that round went. I don't know what the fuck happened after I pulled that trigger. All I saw was brown. Next thing you know, I'm doing the fucking Marco Polo with Jerry trying to find my way back out of the room, and Jerry comes in with another AT4, and he goes, wanna hit him again? I was like, fuck, no, I don't want to hit him again, dude. I was like, that sucked. And so he's like, all right, I got it. I'll do this one. So then Jerry Bear goes in and I stand on the outside of the room and I'm like, I know it's coming to him, man. And he launches that thing and sure enough, it just goes doop, solid brown. Jerry disappears. He comes out. He's just completely brown 
head to toe of dried cow shit. And when he speaks, I swear it's coming out of his fucking mouth. That shit was hilarious. We ended up doing a BDA, battle damage assessment, and that's when you go check uh, the battle space to see if you have any enemy fighters that were down, and that way you could check their equipment, get some intel off them, and things like that. And we do a BDA, and sure enough, the dude behind the rock had a round right through his lip right here. So sure enough, on that first shot when Jerry Bear was trying to show me where he was at, he just popped him right in the face, and the whole AT4 incident was for nothing. Thanks, Jerry Bear. But all right, guys, that's a little war story. I have plenty more, especially with Jerry. That dude is fucking nuts and did some crazy shit. But man, he was an awesome teammate. Love him, Jerry Bear. Love you, man. So yeah, this was a fun one. I was super stoked when you guys voted on a war story because uh, war stories are fun. We'll keep those votes going periodically so you guys can make sure that you're getting the videos that you want and you're getting the content that you want and strive for. So hope you guys like that war story. Happy Friday. And we'll see you guys next time. And I can't see it clearly, but it's obvious. I know.